First question is from Fit Vic. If your training, diet, and programming are all pretty close to being 100%, how negative of an impact does only sleeping six hours, five days a week have on making muscle gains? <laughs> Such a hard question I to know. answer. You, you know, you know 22%, what? 22%, yeah. actually. So I'm, I'm going to change the last part because there's a little bit of an individual variance with with appropriate uh, you know, levels of sleep or optimal levels of sleep. Believe it or not, there are people, very small percentage of people, who do well on less sleep than other people. But it is a very small percentage. Vast majority of people need about mm. anywhere, <clears throat> roughly eight hours of sleep. But let's just change the question. Let's say workout, diet, you know, everything's perfect, but you're not getting a good sleep. Your sleep is, let's say, 25% less than you need. How much of an impact will that have? Massive. Mm. Tremendous impact. You are severely hampering your body's ability to adapt, build muscle, it doesn't want to burn body fat. It doesn't want to get rid of its insurance policy against stress. Your hormones are definitely going to be out of whack. And men, this means testosterone levels are going to plummet. And women, your progesterone, estrogen levels are all over the place. Yeah. Um, insulin insensitivity happens. Um, you can uh, sleep is it's it's up there with food and water. That's where all the building and repairing and restoring that that's where that that all happens. So like to just uh, you know focus on like breaking the body down, implementing the stress. Like you need that recovery process to really get you to then adapt and and get stronger. I feel like this person knows the answer better than we do, though. I mean, to because there is such an individual variance here, and I don't. And if I don't know, maybe this is enough sleep for this person. And if you're doing everything else, like they say, a hundred percent, and you're not at your fitness goals, or you're not where you want to be, then obviously sleep is making a huge difference, yeah. and that could be the difference maker in you getting to your results. Now. If you're in incredible shape and you feel amazing and you just hear us talk about the benefits of sleep and you know you could get more and you're not, it may not be as crucial to you. It may not be that as big of a deal. It, it, could it make a difference? Yeah, it can make a difference. And what percentage of that or how much it could be limiting? You would probably know better than anybody else because if you're oh, yeah. doing everything at 100%, and the only thing you're missing on- You don't need on, any affirmation if you if it's working. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like if he's if this person is in incredible shape, they feel amazing, and they're just not getting eight hours of sleep every single night, and then they're asking that question, you're probably okay, dude. You're probably doing just fine. But yeah. if you're asking this question, you're doing everything 100% but the sleep, and you're still not where you want to be as far as your peak fitness or mental clarity or strength, and you're still- trying to pursue a goal and you're not there, well, this could be the key that unlocks yeah. that. Boy, this is something that my opinion and perception changed on radically as I became a more experienced trainer. Um, you know, I would, when I was younger, I didn't think this may, this was a big deal. Uh, then again, I was living on, you know, ephedra, caffeine, you know, yeah. supplements, and yeah. I was also in my 20s. Um, but, uh, you know, I, with clients, I can, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I saw sleep make profound differences in my clients. I have, I had men that I, that would get their hormone levels checked and all they did was get more sleep and you'd see a 30% increase in testosterone. I had clients who whose bodies stubbornly held on to body fat even, and we had to be very careful with cutting too many calories and are we doing the right amount of cardio and lifting weights and what's happening. And then all of a sudden they sleep right and then the fat falls off their body, you know, at least in comparison to how they Do you they think were this is an age thing? Do you think that there's mm. a, a point where if this becomes far more crucial for us? Do you think that's part of why this is well, coming? yeah, because we're solidified in our routines. Right. It, you know, I, th I feel like we're a little bit more trying to figure out what the routine's going to be when we're younger and we're trying to, like, put it all together. Uh, but, yeah, we just get, like, really hardwired. And I go to work. I'm under, you know, uh, these fluorescent lights all day. Uh, I, I just kind of get into that pattern where I don't really change as much. And so, then it's like really crucial that you have these implemented habits that you establish that like allow you to uh, gain benefits like sleep. I just always, I'm always playing that game, right? Of, you know, if I would have pieced this together when I was 20, would I have made huge gains or would I have made a huge difference? Or was I just so resilient at that point in my life mm -hmm. that I was able to make the same kind of gains and still get by with not doing all these things. Like I always wonder that, like, yeah. and am I more aware today because, because I'm more aware and right. I'm actually more in tune with my body. Yeah. Was I always having those terrible shits? Was I always having those terrible <laughs> nights of no sleep? And like, was it really hindering my gains or am I just so aware of it today? Or yeah. is it what now that I'm older? all really that in a row? You know, what yeah. if all of it was aligned up and, and you were aware of all that when you're younger? Like I'm sure the gains would have been substantial 
substantially Dude, better. I think it makes a huge difference. Look at diet. You know, um, I mean, Adam, you've in the past before you competed, you did cycles of gear and you trained and you ate and you didn't accomplish anywhere near the physique you did right. when you were older and you didn't use nearly as much uh, anabolic steroids and it right. was all because your diet uh, and your training were different. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it makes a big difference. And here's the other part. When you were younger, I don't know about you guys, but this is true for me. When I was younger, I had less uh, responsibilities at home. So although I slept five mm-hmm. hours a night when I was working on my day off, I slept a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do that with kids. Yeah, and no, now, that's a good point. That's a good point. you know, I remember that back. That's then. a good point. There's, yeah. There was many Saturdays or Sundays because I went so hard in the paint for three or four days in the straight that I could just, oh, I'm just gonna sleep all Sunday. I slept a lot, and I was in the sun a lot. I felt like I got yeah. better sleep when I was out, you know, and active in the sun. It just made my deep sleep happen more often. Yeah, you just can't take naps and sleep in <laughs> when yeah, you're you older <laughs> and you have kids. You know, I got time for that shit. 